So, ready? You okay, fucking you pitiful say, petty say clepper! Got something eating at your code, that's clear. Been trying to learn how you're wired this whole time. To know who I'm dealing with. Thought you were just unlucky at first. But I kept watching, and finally realized what your problem is. You're a dirt boy from Haywood who found the guts to walk a few extra blocks from home. But turned out the best you can do is chase... You seem to know a lot about my past. Well, seen flashes of your past, just like you've seen flashes of mine. Honestly, I'm scared of the day I'll start seeing your memories as my own. Shit. If it's a two-way street, I'll somehow have to live with the fact that I let Deshaun best me. Fuck me over. Can you just tell me what you want? What you really want? Help me settle my score against Arasaka. That's it. Let's get what? out of here. Seems to me you need to have a nemesis at all times. Ideally, a crazy powerful one to feed your ego. And they gotta be practically unbeatable to justify a suicide run. Huh. You're funny. Actually, that's what I am. That kind of nemesis. I'll decide your fate. And then fuck all you can do. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Want to hear it? All right. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water, and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and empty pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. Might be right. Can't really argue with you. V, there. I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? Johnny, do whatever it takes to it. stop him, defeat him, gut him. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. Johnny. Fucking hell. You still don't see it, but you will one day.
Hi there, V. How's it going with Rogue? It's going. Knock on wood. So, things are settled? For now, we're good at avoiding each other. And that's fine with me. No complications with Kang Tao. So far, so good. They sent another patrol around the station. But they're dead set that it was Raffin that downed their AV and attacked Hellman's guards. Station's proprietor's sticking to that version. So we're covered for now. You make up your mind yet? About what? The Alicaldos. You going back? Part of me just wants to drive down the open highway and never look back. Part of me wants to stay. But being in the same room with Saul... I don't know anything anymore, V. You sound like you don't have any friends left there. What about Mitch? I know, but... Well, all right, you're about to tell me that no family's perfect. And hey, you'd be right. But I just want to be true to myself and figure out what I want. And what I'm scared of. Take care. Talk soon, V. delicate about the matter. 
I'd rather discuss that in person, if you don't mind. Can we meet? Sure, let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you. streets that when Waco says golden, it's usually a turd wrapped in crepe paper. It's a sticky situation. So what's the spec? Caroline Jablonski. Set off any buzzers for you? Murdered in cold blood. Made waves a few years back. They locked the guy up. But now there's a chance he could walk. Jablonski's family wants to balance the scales of justice for good. You'll finish him. Sorry. Got too much on my plate as it is. Of course. So you give me a call when you change your mind. Putting this one on hold for you. You're the only one I trust with it. Hey, Claire. Next race. You ready? It'll be a tough one. Off-road, lots of lead flying. We'll take Beast. I want to try her out in the field. Nova. FYI, I'm already here. Perfect. Join you in a sec. Sounds good. See ya. What? Th Man, I can't hear you. Wait. Oh, you mean him? Honestly, I don't know. I don't, must have gone solo, I don't. Yeah, yeah, sure, go ahead, try. Hey, V. Good to see you again. Got another race to run, huh? Second of four, I hope. Ready to go off-road? Think this one will be tough? Badlands, so no fucking around. Anything goes in this race. So you'll have your hands full. You too. One mistake and we'll be a four-ton tumbleweed. I can do this. Okay, I'm just gonna melt under that sun, so gonna wait in the car. Sure. thought you'd stand me up again. I thought Bully would have to ride shotgun. Bully is a fantastic shot. He is. Ladies and he gentlemen, is. get your He's hands on He's talking always. Right. Too much. His mouth engine. never stops running. It's distracting. I take the turns too wide. Do you hear me? So next time I actually Ignore don't him. make it, we there's duct tape in the trunk. You there. Just saying. Hey. Yeah, what's up? 
Just wanted to wish you luck! Thanks!
Like, chance of the final, well? You better believe it. Drive up to the finish line. How am I doing? You're too wide around corners and slow down the last straightaway, but I'm nitpicking. So, no regrets putting me behind the wheel? Not yet. The last driver is better than I am? He was. A good husband. An amazing wheelman. How'd he die, if you don't mind me asking? How do any competitive racers die? We reached the final last year. We were strong, out in front when... Maybe we should change the subject. Yeah. You want to lift to my garage? Sure, thanks. Let's go. Why, no way the missus will believe I bet on the winning horse. Parted ways. Oh, look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here.
V, it's good you're here. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Saul. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths? We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but I felt I could count on you. Always Pan Am. You and me are chums. Thought that was clear. Careful, or I'll start believing that. You won't be able to get rid of me. I'll survive, I'm sure. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grad. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldas. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V, what's going on there? Him. After what happened to Scorpion, he shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get.
Their problem. Just that if we're looking outside, we must be a hot mess inside. That's why we'll go in quiet. A frontal assault would. suicide. Mitch is already setting up recon. V will sneak into the Wraith's camp while I'll be his guardian rifle. Wait. Meaning it's just gonna be us two? What about all you guys? Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek. Static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a paddle. Try as we might. So Your leader gets nabbed and you, what, hope for the best? Rather than I think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! He has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in. Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. You see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept solid. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. I feel like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local camera. You would just need to find the control room.
The Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Solid job. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet, a rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him out of my back. So that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. One me driving. Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. Oh, yeah. We even have a radio in here. Take it for a spin if you like. let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? You said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the Saul I remember. All that are idols. I know. It's just... See that? That is one hell of a storm! Looking... bad. Oh, it's bad in more than its look. We have to move quickly. Okay. We need to hide the car. Park beside that outcrop. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there. All right, I'm in position. I have you in range.
think I found a sneaky way to slip in. Perfect. These brutes will never be the wiser. Just a slide together. Might get out without firing a shot. Exactly. There should be a quick exit out of the cellar. Good. It'll cover our tracks. Anyway, we have good reason not to head straight back to camp. There's no need to play it safe. We'll just burn time. Better late and safe than dead. You see those buildings? We'll wait it out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! Dinner. Not hungry. 
I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, V? I'll search in here. A lot of useful things. The angle's left in a hurry. Biotechnica made them a good offer. You don't know. No bulldozers, no backhoe loaders ever showed up. Lousy, rotten way to get them out. Deal with the corp, you end with nothing solved. Don't go there. Not now. Damn, it's getting cold. I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this junk burning. Oh. See what I see? Expiration date's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? Go on, get off your feet. It could be ours. No, no lecture. But we do need to talk. That raid's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. 
our camp locations, routes, off loading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. And if you had mounted a raid of your own, well, that would have been the end of me. It's not the time for this. You're both exhausted. Maybe you're right. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. Don't be mad, but I think Saul could be right. What? Why? You know how things work in Night City? You've got everybody fighting for a slice of the street. If you keep getting jumped, you find some stronger chupas. You're talking about gangs. The principles are the same out here. You ought to remember that. Hear that, Pan Am? That is the voice of reason. All I hear is the fucking wind. We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Whoa, what was that about? Probably the meds talking. I sure hope so. I think he took a few solid hits to his skull. And? Think this is any better? No, just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? The fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am. Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. Am I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? Got a few ideas. Think you know what kind? Uh... The... No. It's really nice as is. Let's not spoil it, okay? I... I I'm, I'm sorry. Didn't know what I was thinking. No, it's fine. Truly. Don't let it worry you. Right. So, friends, then. B, I'm glad you came. Really. Thanks. It meant a lot to me. Do you hear that? No. Mm. Mm -hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plate, I sure can't get any shut eye. Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams.
look who's alive. Hey, did you sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style raid. Ah, uh, so so. Back is strangely numb. Heading to a ripper as soon as I'm in town. A few springs I need taken out. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. Oh, wait, hang on. I thought you were headed back to the Alicaldos. Staying with the clan. That remains so. Come on. Last night, when we were talking to Saul, both of you spewed some trouble. But I do have to grant him one thing. The wraiths, the raid, it's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Aldecaldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback.
behind cover! To see you, V. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at anchor in the bay. Saburo's daughter. Yes. And if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. And what's to stop her little errand boy from selling us out? He will not do that. He's a man of honor. Right, because our suckers' ranks are chock full of those. Do not confuse true honor with the petty morals by which you live. 
By car, huh? A good sign. He's usually camouflaged. speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Was there, saw what happened. Yorinobu strangled the old guy. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly, I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you... But you can't ignore the truth! Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cutting- Sorry, but this is gonna take much longer. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu-sama. What would you do now, were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu-sama. Consider yourself lucky that I... Oda! Not... What? We're talking about a guy who killed his father to seize control of Arasaka. Gonna take an interest in this or not? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Good fucking riddance. One hour sock of whack job is already plenty. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes and obtain something useful. Hmm, how do you figure that? What Oda said, they returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps, if somehow we can get to Hanako-sama. We must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan Town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? No, just a fixer dame. Wakaku Akada runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? 